Palantir enables analysts to efficiently work with data at a massive scale in order to uncover meaningful trends so that the world works with less risk, higher potential, and greater good. By fusing macro-level data from the United Nations and African Development Bank with micro-level data from Humanity United and the Grameen Foundation, a more timely and accurate assessment of the drivers and challenges of food insecurity can empower the decision-making process. Comparing the average amount of calories consumed daily per country, Ethiopia has successfully increased consumption from 1,800 in 2000 to 2,000 calories in 2007. Meanwhile, there have also been small advancements in Sudan and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Through the modeling and calculation of food indices at the country, regional, and world level, a normalized set of data from 2000 to 2010 was applied by analysts to visualize trends of how food production has increased, mainly in West Africa. In particular, Ghana has experienced a 55% increase in production from 2000 to 2009. Conflict is one of the biggest accelerants to food insecurity. Working with Humanity United to monitor the situation on the Sudan-South Sudan border, analysts identified multiple factors that contribute directly to the movement of displaced persons caught in the crossfire, including the rapid fluctuation of market prices, lack of access to water sources and or agricultural tools, and the disruption to planting and harvesting seasons. By sourcing the known International Displaced Persons Camps, or IDPs, and pinpointing the locations that are experiencing an escalation in the number of displaced persons, decision makers can gain transparency into how these movements strain food systems. Particularly, individuals and families with children are arriving at Zamzam Camp in the Darfur region of West Sudan. Also, the food distribution chain is being suffocated as a result of increased movement from Haleg on the Sudan-South Sudan border. Leveraging large data sets advances the ability of analysts to dynamically extract insights and enriches the understanding of how decision makers can deliver meaningful impact. The Grameen Foundation's community knowledge workers compiled and answered over 1 million questions from 60,000 farmers in Uganda through the use of mobile phone technology. By evaluating the demographics and activities of the most vulnerable farmers with a poverty score in the lowest 20th percentile, and drilling down on questions relating to issues concerning farm animals asked between January and May 2012, analysts have detected early outbreaks of disease and parasites in chickens concentrated in northern Uganda. The farmers, who commonly do not own clothes or shoes, are also experiencing outbreaks with cattle in the southwest region. Geospatial trending heightens understanding of the specific sets of challenges being faced by farmers, such as drought and spikes in market price. Throughout late 2011 and early 2012, an overwhelming amount of cases relating to viruses and dry beans, one of the most important field crops in Uganda, have been localized between Lake George and Fort Portal in the southwest and near Masindi, directly west of Lake Kyoga. This presentation demonstrates that Palantir's cutting-edge data analysis can empower decision makers to effectively assess both routine and unprecedented challenges to ensuring food security during conflict, while efficiently working to improve the performance of African farmers through the development of aid programs in real time.